Hey guys, it's me, Alicia, and a lot of you guys have been requesting for us to try the Eco Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil line. So I decided to give it a go in this video, and I created this bun look. So if you guys are interested in learning how the products worked for my hair, as well as how I created this donut bun, then definitely stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? So I decided to give a few products a try. I've seen quite a few other YouTubers using these products. I did pick up the Eco Styler, what is it called? The Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil line. So I did pick up a few items I got there. Deep Conditioning Therapy, I picked up their Conditioning Styling and Shining Gel 48 Hour Edge Control. This, I also picked up their Moisture Rich Leave-In Conditioner. And I got their smallest bottle of the Maximum Hair Growth Formula Oil. So now I'm just going to apply the deep conditioner. So I just have my hair in sections. It's wet, but it's not really soaking wet. I'm going to go ahead and first try out the Black Castor and Flax Seed Oil Deep Conditioning Therapy, which is this here. And the consistency is very, very, very thick, almost like banana pudding. It's very thick and creamy. And I'm just going to go and apply this to my sections. And I don't like the smell. It smells funny. It smells similar to the gel, but more, I don't know, like artificial kind of chemically if that's even a word but yeah so um, I apply a lot I'm just going to put it down the section I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying all of this down my hair I'm not going to have this video be too long because I want to do some styling at the end and um, yeah so I'll go ahead and apply this to my hair and I'll be right back Okay, I'm back and I do have the conditioner applied to my hair. Um, this conditioner is okay for me. Um, it reminds me of a really good deep conditioning mask that you would get from like the drugstore or whatnot. So this is the way my hair looks with the deep conditioner on it. Um, softness, mm, my hair feels the same. Like I don't feel like it's anything more than what it usually is. It's pretty standard, you know, but this is how it looks. So now I'm just clipping up my hair and getting it out the way. And I'm going to apply just a plastic bag. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and allow this to sit on my hair for like 30 minutes. And then I'll rinse it out and I'll be back with my styling portion. Okay, see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, so I just rinsed out the deep conditioner. After I actually allowed the deep conditioner to sit on my hair, when I removed my bag, my hair was so soft and it was so defined and it was easy for me to finger detangle with it. But it's really weird because as soon as I rinsed it out, my hair was like, I don't know, like dry almost. And even as I was rinsing out the deep conditioner, it was like frothing up, like almost like foaming almost like a shampoo in a way that's what it looks like up close not as moisturized as i like it to feel but um we're still gonna work it out now what i'm going to do is i don't know whether i want to put the oil on first or the leave-in i think i'm going to do the leave-in i don't like to put leave-in conditioners on my hair when it's wet but I'm going to try one section and see how it works out. So I'm going to use the Eco um, Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Moisture Rich Leave-In Conditioner. So I just got a smaller section and I'll apply the leave-in just to see how it feels. Now I'm just going to take a little of the Black Castor and Flaxseed Maximum Hair Growth Oil. I'm going to use a little. Ooh, too much. The consistency is just like Jamaican black. It's very um, thick. I'm going to take this cap off because I don't really have the time or the patience. And hopefully the lighting isn't bad because the sun is setting. So here's how my hair looks 
with the leave-in conditioner on it. Again, I'm gonna take a little of that oil and put it right on top of the leave-in. The oil actually gives me more slip than the leave-in. So I'm moving on to the next section. I'm using the leave-in. It's gonna take a decent amount of it like this and just apply it to the section making sure I get every single strand and then seal it with a little of the oil and you can use whatever oil but I just chose to use the one from the line and then I'm gonna do the same with the other small section Combine those two sections into one, like this. I'm going to release this back section and add in my gel. And I like to use a generous amount. The more the merrier and just smooth. And then now I'm just applying a scrunchie loosely so that it looks like this. Now we're working our way to the front. Again, take a smaller section. Gonna add a little leave-in conditioner. And again, Taking that oil and sealing in the moisture. Now I'm going to take a generous amount of that gel again and smooth it down. I pray to God my hair doesn't have like crazy residue. Oh, I pray to God it doesn't. release that back section and brush in this section I'm gonna take my, um, what is it called? Conditioning, styling, and shining gel. This is the edge control. And I'm just going to lay my edges. And I'm just gonna set my hair. I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna show you guys how I do the bun. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I did my makeup, my hair is set. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. This is how my hair looks. I did go ahead and I did this to my ponytail because I felt that it was shrinking and curling a lot. So I did kind of tie a couple scrunchies so that it remained stretched. However, if your hair doesn't curl like mine, you may not have to do that. You can put a little twist in it just to keep it from curling up. This is the bun that I did make. I did use two leg warmers. 
Um, I did a bun tutorial before and I showed you guys how I made my bun in case you are interested. I will leave that video um, up in the cards right above here or I'll leave the link down below. You guys can check it out. It's very easy to make a bun. The only thing I don't know how to do is wrapping this in satin because I know a lot of you guys tell me that this is not... Um, not healthy to use like a um, cotton leg warmer because again my hair is moisturized and then this is going to suck out all the moisture in my ends so you are very right so I would definitely recommend wrapping this in satin I just don't know how and I've tried I even tried to like sew it on but I just didn't know how to do it but let me turn around so you guys can see my ponytail hopefully most of the residue um, absorbed because I had a lot a lot of residue I was a little scared but I do still see a little bit like here but that should definitely go away um I'm gonna use a little oil just on the ends let me remove this scrunchie Okay, so my hair did shrink a whole lot, but it's going to be okay. We're still going to work it out. I'm going to take, I shouldn't have wore this shirt. I'm going to take just a little of this oil, just a little, or you can use whatever oil you like. So if you're going to make this work, you're going to need one of these headbands because you can wrap it a few times and it stretches these little scrunchies don't do that okay so you're gonna need this maybe a few of them but I honestly think you only need one because I use one I'm gonna take this bun and I'm going to now apply it over my ponytail now double up on your headband so double it so it's like this okay I'm going to position my hair around the sock bun once all the hair is placed in your bun and none of the sock is showing you gotta tuck in those ends, so just tuck them in. Now take just a normal scrunchie and place it over your ponytail once. So. Guys, this is the style that I chose to do using the Eco product line just a normal sock bun it's one of my go-to styles it's very easy um, if I was to rate each product I would say um, I do like the edge control I would give this like an 8 or a 9 I do like it just make sure you do not leave the cap off because it will melt the gel is actually up there with my favorites as far as eco styler gels so I will definitely continue to purchase the black castor and flaxseed oil gel however I did not like the deep conditioning therapy at all like um like I said when I applied it to my hair my hair felt really really soft and really good but it wasn't until I rinsed it out it was frothing and foaming up almost like a shampoo so I felt like it was kind of like weird. It kind of made my hair feel squeaky clean, which is very weird. Even my hands was feeling like stripped, you know? This right here is what everyone has been raving about or talking bad about. How do I feel about it though? Don't care for it. I sprayed it on my hair. My hair did not feel moisturized. Okay, so um, I keep saying to myself, maybe it's because my hair was wet because my hair doesn't really react that well with leave-in conditioners when it's soaking wet. Um, so maybe I might try it again. I don't know. The oil, um, this is no different from any other oil. Like seriously, I mean, it's not pure castor oil. 
so yeah let me know what you guys think of the eco black castor and flaxseed line do you like it is your experience better than mine are you impartial are you like hmm or are you raving about it like some other people on youtube have been raving about it let me know i was really excited to try it based off of all the positive reviews but again i'm in the middle i'm impartial i don't hate it and i don't love it but it's something that i probably will not purchase again but um, anytime Eco Styler drops a line, I'm first in line to get it because I do love their brand. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you guys think of my style. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.